later and stop right there? No. Ticket. <laughs> you really think that you were going to ride the Sky Train wearing tank top in this hot weather with your hand holding the bar above my face, not showered, not wearing deodorant? No. Ticket. <laughs> um, I feel like a written explanation of why they're stupid and a monetary fine would be so much more effective than the kick in the shins that I usually give them. <laughs> and I'm not saying I'm not above a ticket. Like today, I farted in the elevator at work. <laughs> not cool ticket. <laughs> so I was at the beach on the weekend and I don't understand why there's tons of room on the beach and the people want to sit right beside you, right? Like this one jerk face comes and he sets his towel up like inches from me. I'm gonna teach him a lesson. So I moved. <laughs> Turns out I moved closer to your creepy uncle. <laughs> this is the guy, he's wearing all beige, 80 sunglasses, hats pulled down, and you can actually hear him just like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's the kind of guy that when he's riding a sky train, he just stands with like an inappropriate amount of thrust to his stick. Still dressed like a band-aid, just trying to blend in. So your creepy uncle pulls out his phone, he's not even pretending to text, or to, yeah, he's not even pretending to text, he's just taking photos. He's like, mmm, click. Uh, click. I was like, I gotta move. So I chose to sit next to a group of timid looking ESL students. How did I know they were timid? Well, they were all wearing long sleeve sweaters and tights under their shorts at the beach. How did I know they were ESL? The eyes. <laughs> Don't my little geisha dolls pull out the fattest joint I've ever seen? I was like, what? You guys don't do that. And the giggling, just like half an hour of like, <laughs> So eventually I mellowed out, and um, I gotta say, God bless English Bay, and God bless gay men. Seriously, they've all got like ripped bodies, and they're hairless, and they're tan, and they're little shorts, and I'm your creepy uncle now. <laughs> so I see this one guy, he's straight. And I know he's straight because he's fat and he's hairy. <laughs> and I can hear his little bathing suit and it's like, please, no! <laughs> and you know the singing dance like everybody's watching, or dance like no one's watching. This guy's like, I oil up like everyone's watching. <laughs> and I watch the whole thing. And then I, I almost miss the sweet, sweet finishing movies, just like, Oily mark there, quick pepper pat, you're like, nice. <laughs> I know, uh, I was there, I saw it. I can't turn away. And I, I respect people that are comfortable with their bodies, but I feel like there's so much to being said for knowing what does look good and does not look good on you. Like me, I know I have a bit of a belly. I know I make muffins jealous. <laughs> so like, I'm not going to wear a bikini to the beach and turn it all brand-like, right? So I just, 
like, I wonder if people actually look in the mirror and like, yeah, that, that looks good. Because you know what? For those of you that are like, I feel comfortable showing what I've got. The rest of us don't. Ticket. Um, most of my friends have kids. I don't have kids, much to my mother's disappointment. But I have fish, much to my mother's disappointment. But the good thing about having fish is it's really leveled out the parental playing field. Like now when my friend's like, um, this is a picture of Timmy when he's pooping. I'm like, this is a picture of Osama Bin Laden when he's pooping. <laughs> Or they're like, oh, this is a picture of Sally in her new hat. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> Vinny Gill just got a new fungus on his head and it looks like a hat. <laughs> uh, some of my favorite things, I love, I love accents. I live for accents. I just recently got a first, my first Brazilian from this lovely little Asian lady. I thought she only knew three phrases in English, which were no close and so long. <laughs> and she knew sorry, so, so sorry, sorry. And she apologized so much during that half hour. I was like, what the hell is going on down there? But I was so much in pain, like it hurts. I couldn't even tilt my head up to look. And then she comes out with three more choice phrases. Turn it over. No more. <laughs> Hold a pot. <laughs> uh, I love a good Filipino accent, and I love Filipinos. They're such friendly people. They're such nice people, and you can get them to keep repeating themselves, which is a fun game for me. And it's a small form of control, so I will take it. <laughs> So I worked at a rental car company and the Filipinos would call in and they'd say, I need minivan. Like, okay, minivan, right. Who's gonna be driving? Me and my wife. I'm like, and your names. Victor and I'm like, wait. Hector? No, Victor. Hector. No, Victor, be like Vancouver. And my wife, Bantasia. <laughs> And when Victor and Fantasia came in, I just wanted to be like, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire! <laughs> uh, my favorite part about accents, my most favorite part is when people try to say my name. So again, at the rental car company, I said to one Mr. Fan, <laughs> he said, you call me whenever you want. My name is Courtney. How you spell that? A C-O-R-M-Y, Courtney? <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys.